Hello guys, what's up? It's Hypno here. Welcome to my new video. I really hope you enjoy. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Evolution Bomber. It's completely broken, so it's going to be a lot of fun here. And yeah, this is basically the same deck I presented to you guys yesterday, just with the Evolution Bomber for Princess. Or you could also say it's the same deck that I've been running the past like months. It's just Evo Bomber for Goblins, so it's even exactly the same elixir cycle it's 2.6 elixir so yeah nothing really has changed riley also made a youtube video about this deck just today so it's gonna be completely broken this season i feel like and yeah i'm gonna showcase to you guys how broken the bomber is it's literally too broken like the card shouldn't be this op let's see what he plays here maybe we can go for evil bomber okay i'm definitely gonna go for evil bomber onto this okay let's see Okay, double shot. Okay, <laughs> look at that damage, man. One, 1.4k damage for no reason. He has no delivery in cycle. Okay, I think he's gonna get cooked here. He can't afford the ability. Okay, he goes for his Evo bats. I'm gonna pressure him opposite lane here. That Evo skellies are gonna take tower, right? Okay, the Evo bats kind of saved him, but <laughs> not really because look at both of his towers. He's kind of like already lost. Okay, he goes for um his mortar i could rocket that but i'm just gonna defend it with my bomber to cycle um yeah to cycle my next evolution bomber and get damage onto tower <laughs> look at that man there was 600 damage from the evo bomber onto the evo mortar <laughs> crazy right i guess they have to play the evo mortar in the middle now so you can't really splash onto tower because at that placement my evo bomber will just get too much value to be honest and yeah guys, I'll also show you after this game what decks I'm gonna be using once the Evo Wallbreakers come out. So stay tuned for that. And just gonna go for my next bomber here. Pressure him opposite lane. Also gonna go for my Evo Skelly if he gets good goblins down or something. Okay. Yeah, those goblins died from my fire spirit. He's gonna lose both towers here. Man, you guys see how broken Evo Bomber is. Like, this should be a pretty decent matchup for him. But because I got the Evo Bomber, He's completely getting cooked, like, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> so, this is one of the decks I will definitely be using when the Evo Wallbreakers come out. I've been using this deck a lot the last season, and maybe I would change it a little bit and put the Fire Spirit for Goblins, maybe, and or put the Princess for Goblins, but it's basically, basically gonna be this kind of deck once the Evo Wallbreakers come out, and I feel like it's gonna be broken. Also, I feel like they're gonna nerf the emergency nerf the Evo Bomber. So I'm probably gonna be running this kind of version with Evo Skellies and Evo Wallbreakers. If the Bomber stays broken, maybe I will try something with Evo Bomber and Evo Wallbreakers with no Evo Skellies. I'll see. But yeah, this will, this will be the kind of deck I'm gonna be using for sure. We are in the next game here against Adam. I think this guy runs piggies, but I'm not really sure. Maybe he switched. Okay, he has the Evo Knight and Evo Skellies. So, looks like it's not really piggies anymore. Or it's gonna be a weird version. So, let's see. Okay. Pretty bad defense from him. I don't know why he would go for lock onto my bomber there. Okay, <laughs> look at that guys. I'm just gonna go for Ice Spirit here. And then I can get shots from the Bomber onto tower. <laughs> Look at that, that's so much damage, man. Bomber is like, so no skill. You can just place it on and at the bridge onto like every card and it will get guaranteed damage. So yeah, I don't know what Supercell was thinking there. Fe feels like it's just another money grab and they're gonna be like emergency nerfing it. I don't really know what they are doing at the moment. I also made a post about the Evo Bomber because I feel like it's the co card concept is, itself is, is just like a bit stupid already because how does it make sense even in Clash Royale that a bomb jumps two times before it explodes, right? And at the jumps it does like the exact same amount of, m amount of damage that it does at the last jump. Like something like that should just not be possible, right? Because what is that kind of stuff like a bomb just doesn't jump like <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise okay really nice damage we will get here he kind of wasted his evo skellies trying to predict me 
And I'm just gonna go for a bomber here and look at this guys. Okay, I don't think he can stop this. <laughs> Bro, no way. That's tower man. He even put the little prince and it was still tower. Just for two elixir, like can you imagine? That's so crazy to me, like that's just a magic archer on stereo steroids. Or you could say like a mix of firecracker and bowler. But <laughs> Something like this just shouldn't exist. I'm playing it right now, but I'm telling you, just delete this card from the game. Like something like that shouldn't be getting that much damage from the from the bridge for two elixir. It's just too broken. We are against Storm here. This is one of the best zap bait players in the game. He plays with a we really weird lock bait deck. It's like a hybrid, I would say, because he has minor also. He has wall breakers, minion horde, goblin barrel, princess. So it's a really weird deck, but he's always pretty high with it. So it has to be kind of a good deck. At least he's really good with it. Okay, so let's see. I'm just gonna go for skellies onto that. And then I'm gonna go for Valk. Okay, he goes for barbs, but now I can just go for ice spirit. And then I will already be at my Evo Bomber. So <laughs> let's see here what this Evo Bomber can do. Okay, that's one. Okay, two shots. That's over 600 damage. So <laughs> really nice here. I can just defend the barrel with Evo Skellies really nicely. So really clean defense here. I'm also gonna barrel because he's gonna Princess and then he can't afford Log right away. Okay, look at that. Also my Guard Goblin was on tower. Look at that damage. Really nice. I'm just gonna go for Bomber at the bridge to kill the Princess. I don't think he's gonna expect it. Okay, really nice. Princess is dead. And our next Bomber is gonna be Evoed. Man, one card cycle is just way too broken for the Bomber. Especially with this kind of deck. I can go Bomber in the back. And when they go for any tank in the back onto the same lane. If I just cycle quick, I can just get to my Evo Bomber before their card crosses the bridge. And I can already get a lock onto tower with the Evo Bomber the first 30 seconds into the game. So, like, how can you tell me that's not completely broken? Something like that shouldn't be possible. Like, before his first card crosses the bridge, I can already get the Evo Bomber onto tower. Like, how broken is that? Okay. Really good princess here. Well played from him. Because that way my Dark Goblin dies to the tower. Really well played from him. I can just get an Evo Bomber here. That's gonna be, yeah, on tower. Man, even if the Evo Bomber only gets like one tick onto tower, I already feel like it's worth it because just the normal Bomber shot already just does so much damage. So, okay, I'm gonna go for my Evo Skellies here. Let's see what he does. It's probably gonna be Princess, so I'm gonna go for Fire Spirit like this. Okay, I didn't catch the Princess, but oh my god, no way. Look at the Evo Skellies. Bro, Evo Skellies are just as broken as Bomber to be honest, like, they need an emergency nerf also. Ever since they buffed, like, the hit speed from the Evo Skellies, they have been completely broken. And I can get... <laughs> Bro, no way that was on tower. Now I can just rocket this tower and that's gonna be game. You see how broken the Evo Bomber is? Like, man, it's just crazy. <laughs> We are in the next and final game against Zodiac. This guy runs pretty much the same deck he was running last season. He only has one evolution also. He didn't even bother like changing his deck so he can fit two evolutions. Really nice goblin barrel damage here. I don't really know what he thought there. Maybe he thought I put it straight onto tower so his barbs would defend. Really nice damage here. I can just go for skellies onto the little prince. Cycling to my evil skellies and taking care of that little prince nicely. Okay, not the best Electro dra Dragon to be honest, that's just gonna die. Also I can go for my next barrel here. He will, yeah, he will go for that. Okay, maybe I should have uh, should put the Bomber a little bit more to the right side and that way I would have gotten like the next splash there. You saw how I missed the last shot. Could have been a bit better I guess, but yeah, doesn't really matter. We still get good chip onto tower. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he goes for little prince. I'm just gonna go for fire spirit in the back. And then I'm just gonna go for my dart goblin. There's no real way for him to kill my dart goblin. 
He can only nado that in or something, but that's not gonna be the best play. Because if he nados, then I can just go for barrel onto tower. And if he barb barrels that, he's just gonna lose to Evo, Evo Skeletons instantly, because he won't be able to defend that. Okay, really bad E-Dragon once again. This time the... Um, okay, wait, I can just Evo Skellies here, like I told you. But he has nado and cycles, so he's just gonna be forced to nado that away. Okay, he doesn't even nado that away. He knows when he nados that away, that's gonna be game. So he just gives up. And man, Evo Brum Bomber is just too broken. Like, I'm telling you, you can always get it onto tower and get like crazy amounts of damage. And it's just super no skill to use. So I really hope they emergency nerf it. But I'm gonna be having a, a lot of fun with this deck. So yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!